Alright, so let's continue with synthesis and today we will be looking at hydrolysis of benzyl chloride. This time I will be doing hydrolysis with hydrochloric acid, but next time I will try hexamine as well. Now similar to last time I will be looking at the viability of the reaction, because I can't really separate byproducts, I think this is basically only thing I can do right now. I mean I could probably leave product in the air and oxidize benzaldehyde into benzoic acid and see what we have. I guess, well... Anyway, so let's get on with this. So let me measure how much benzyl chloride I have actually. Okay, let's call this 54 milliliters. To this I will add about 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And about 25 milliliters of water. Now we can see here that in the aqueous layer there's quite a bit of green color and that is because hydrochloric acid had some chlorine dissolved in it. So you can see here that the color has changed quite a bit. I would assume that the chlorine has migrated into the non-aqueous layer, I guess. Not sure. Now I'm going to reflux this for about 4 or 5 hours. Ideally there should be no hydrochloric acid left when you finish this. During the reflux you will need quite strong stirring, otherwise this will bump quite a lot. Here you can see after some 16 odd minutes the color has faded to almost clear. But other than that nothing extraordinary happened. You can go have a snag or something like that I guess. Just make sure your power is not insane, otherwise you may lose some benzaldehyde with the hydrochloric acid escaping. Now a few hours in the color change is quite dramatic. This time the color is more darkish brown. When I stop the stirring and the contents of the flask are still hot, the organic layer is on the top. If you let this cool down it will slowly fall to the bottom. But I had to call it a day this time, so I have decided to pour in some concentrated solution of sodium bicarbonate. Not really to neutralize the acid, but rather to make some carbon dioxide atmosphere there. But it is better if you allow this to cool down before you do that. So this is next day, I'm doing steam distillation. I could do vacuum distillation, but with benzaldehyde this is pretty convenient method. So here are some aesthetic shots. I don't have really time to look for some music to put there, so I have to fill about 9 seconds of silence. Now here's some junk that has remained after distillation. There's probably some benzaldehyde as well, but some yellow started to come over. But in any case it's not much, so the conversion looks to be quite efficient. Really the biggest problem is that benzyl chloride is not converted into benzyl alcohol. So this batch of benzaldehyde really felt like a cherry flavored tear gas? I mean that sounds pretty cool I would say. Now hopefully we can convert tear gas to benzaldehyde with hexamine. And here's crude benzaldehyde. About 36 milliliters. Yeah, good enough. 